Let's talk a little bit about um, some other anti-aging therapies. Uh, one is HGH, and what might the difference be between that and something like TA65? Yeah, HGH, you know, the middle initial is growth, mm -hmm. right, human growth hormone. So that accurately reflects its role as an anabolic agent. So it turns on, not a lot actually, only about four dozen genes. And you can, they have these chips now, you can tell exactly how the messenger RNA is changed. Something like testosterone, surprisingly, hundreds, 900 genes up and down. So it's very nonspecific. HGH is pretty safe, but this is the largest, you know, human guinea pig experiment to date. I mean, tens of millions of people have taken it, paid a lot of money in a non-controlled setting. But my anecdotal experience and gestalt of it is that it's pretty safe. Um, but again, it's the opposite, in a way, of TA, because TA is about restoration and refurbishment, and uh, human growth hormone is about increased transcription. It's about putting a supercharger on an old Mustang without, you know, fixing the parts first. You're really over grinding. And mm -hmm. so, you know, it's known that it can help cancers grow, but also it is an anabolic thing, whereas the TA has no anabolic effects that don't originate from cellular repair. Yeah, you get better testosterone because the cells are healthier, not because you're causing them to be mutant cells. So people will pump up, and um, but you know it's interesting. You notice when they stop HGH, they do have pretty bad withdrawal in two, three weeks. And like, and what sort of symptoms? Mood, oh. energy, um, stamina. So that's reflective of the fact that it's an artificial high. It would be like drinking four lattes versus like you know being a Zen master or whatever. It's more sustainable to have, you know, healthy stuff.